Okay, welcome. My name is Jacob Larson, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to revise and to edit a paper. Now, uh, the intent for this video is that you have previously done work on writing essays, and now you're ready to improve it, whatever that essay is. So, first we need to talk about the difference between what... We need to talk about the difference between revising and editing a paper. Now, I think a lot of people use these terms interchangeably, and that's that's fair, but I'm going to use them a little bit differently. I'm going to define revising as a process of correcting higher order concerns. So we're going to talk about what higher order, higher order concerns are. And editing, in contrast, is a process of fixing lower order concerns. So higher order concerns uh, sound like they're more important. That's not necessarily true, but higher order meaning that they are a different type of issue that's being corrected and probably they are priority uh, issues to be fixed, meaning that these things are fixed first in part because editing uh, is probably the last step you should do if you aren't editing throughout the entire process of writing your paper. So what are some of the things, the concerns that fall under revising? Well, these are the big things, the things that have to do with the content and the quality of the paper, things like your ideas, the organization of the paper, the evidence you're using, and of course your source material. On the other hand, editing is going to be focusing on the things we normally think we have to fix in a paper like grammar, punctuation, spelling, you know, capitalization. And I went ahead and threw in citations because those are also some of the nitpicky technical kinds of things you have to fix when writing a paper. So, okay. So let's talk about how to actually revise a paper. Now, I can't go through absolutely everything you need to do to fix this. That's not the purview of this specific video, but I'm going to talk about the kinds of things you can ask yourself to get you pointed in the right direction. So when you're talking about revising ideas, here's some questions you can think about. You can think about whether you know what your thesis statement is or not. With that information, you could do a lot. But if you don't know what your thesis is, your paper is already in trouble. Because if you don't know what it is, how is your reader going to know? So um, ask yourself, what is your thesis statement? You know, natural follow-up questions would be, you know, is it working? Is it clear? Do you actually, you know, support that throughout your paper? Also along the same lines, you can ask yourself if your ideas are clear. Is it clear when someone else reads your paper, can they tell what it is you're trying to say? And then, not exactly the same, but similar, you need to know if your ideas are logical. Do they make sense? Are they rhetorically sound? And if they aren't, this helps you to create a pathway to revise the paper. Not that these, knowing the answers to this, fixes the paper, but it points you in the right direction. All right, so similar to ideas is organization. Now, when you're thinking about organization, you're thinking things about uh, how are you ordering things or organizing things to present your argument? Um, like what rhetorical strategies are you using in your paper? Then you can ask yourself things like, are they effective? Is there a different way that you could present that information to do it more effectively, to do it more clearly, more succinctly, and, and maybe you know, more directly? So all these things are important things to think about to get you pointed in the right direction. Also, you need to think about your evidence and your source materials. So what evidence or sources do you have to support your thesis? What do you already have? And do you have enough? And if you don't have enough, that, again, gives you a pathway back to try to figure out what you need to do to revise your paper. Again, knowing the answers to these questions helps you to create a plan to go and fix it because knowing what to do is the first step to get there. All right, so we've talked a little bit about how to revise a paper 
knowing the right process because revision is a process that's going to help you to get there. And it's going to be different depending on what your specific paper is and what you're trying to do and at what stage in the writing process that paper is. Now, oftentimes we think revision after you're already done and that's true, but you can start revising at any time in the process. If you recognize that something needs to be fixed, you don't need to wait to do it. You can get on it right away. Okay. So let's talk about editing the paper. The reason why editing um, addresses things that, they, that we call lower order concerns is because if you're revising a paper, some of these mistakes might pop up again, right? They are lower on the priority scale because they're the more technical and they're less subjective than things like organization and ideas. But they're, they're definitely things that can influence and hurt a paper if not done properly. So you definitely need to go through the process of editing your paper before you, uh, you ever send it away to someone else. So you need to think about things like grammar. And grammar basically has to do with using the right words in the right order. So are you using words correctly? If you can answer yes to that, that's a good sign. Are you using words effectively? And if you are using the words effectively, you know, your words are going to be tight and hopefully also clear. So as you look at your grammar, you can also ask yourself, what changes could you make to improve the clarity and the efficacy of your argument? If all those things are looking good and you know, you're able to run it past someone else, maybe get a second pair of eyes, uh, you're probably in good shape in terms of grammar, but you also need to worry about some of the other lower order concerns like punctuation. So when we talk about punctuation, we're talking about the different marks that go on the paper that help the reader know how to read the words that you've given them. These are things like periods and commas and quotation marks and apostrophes, things like that. So as you look at all that, are there any mistakes that you need to correct? If there's no mistakes, then, you know, you're good to move on. And you can think about spelling and capitalization. So look at your work, are any words misspelled? And if so, obviously you need to fix them. And are all words capitalized correctly? Now, if you're using a modern uh, word processing program like Microsoft Word, uh, Google Docs, um, open office, something like that, it's going to identify things for you. Another great resource, especially if you're using um, either an online based um, word processor or if you're using Microsoft Word, there's a, a plugin for Grammarly, G R A M M A R L Y, and it's, uh, it's kind of another layer of. Um, support and help in fixing your papers. It's all, you know, the computer does the thinking. It can look at grammar, spelling, capitalization, all those things, and kind of give you a heads up. I use it myself and it's incredibly effective. So you, uh, you want an extra pair of eyes because if you don't recognize that there's a problem, it doesn't do you any good looking at, at the screen, but it, it constantly surprises me when I open up a document and word is telling me that there's a problem that someone else didn't look at it and see this problem. Because there, there are lots of great resources out there, um, a lot of free resources to help you out. So make sure you're using them to catch problems if you have them. Uh, and last but not least are citations. Now in my experience, uh, most students are intimidated by citations and uh, it's a scary thing. But you, you just got to take care of it early and often. So questions you have to ask yourself when it comes to citations. Have you cited all of your sources? Have you cited it every time you used it? Did you use in-text citations correctly? Did you create a correct work cited entry at the end of your paper? And if you can answer yes to that, you're in good shape. But you also need to make sure that your paper itself is formatted correctly. And if it is, you're probably in pretty good shape. So again, let's review some of the things that you can do when you're revising a paper is you want to look at the ideas and the content. You want to make sure your point is clear 
and that you've supported it. And when it comes to the lower order concerns, the last things you do, you fix before you turn in your paper, you want to make sure that there isn't any grammar uh, issues that you've um, you fixed spelling, punctuation, capitalization, and of course, you fixed your citations. If you've done all those things, you're, you're probably in pretty good shape and you're ready to you move on because you know, what you don't need to do is spend your time second guessing the work that you've done because in the end, a paper is just a paper and it's an opportunity for you to learn and to show what you've learned but there will always be more papers and other opportunities to write. And so if you didn't get it perfect, all right, uh, learn from it and move on and do it better next time. So I appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions, please uh, hit me up in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back at you. So thanks again for listening. Bye.